Hi everyone, it's Billy in the arena. Uh, 100 days on day 26. Um, it's been a very long day. It's like 9.20 already. So this is the first moment I've gotten to actually be in front of uh, my computer and in a quiet place. Um, um, but today I wanted to talk about um, the Healing Hands Foundation. I'm actually wearing my Healing Hands Foundation shirt. Um, this is a charity that doTERRA runs um, and they pretty much cover the complete costs of the like the administration. So, um, you know, some charities, when you donate $100, 20 of that goes to administration fees and such stuff like that. But um, whatever you ever donate to the Healing Hands goes 100% to them. So it's a charity that they created pretty early on when they started. doTERRA has been around since 2008. Um, and I think it was a couple years after that, that when they actually started the charity, because from the beginning, they always wanted to be able to give back. Um, and I had a conversation with a woman this morning about doing some like fundraising for Healing Hands, because they actually do have a program where um, if you do like a fundraiser for whatever purpose, um, if you apply for it, whatever you you raise, like say you raise fifteen hundred dollars, um, DoTerra will actually match that, and then that will go all to the Healing Hands Foundation. So we, this woman, I met her somewhere, and she, you know, did some like humanitarian work. So like I, I started talking to her about it, and she had no idea that DoTerra was involved in in all this kind of humanitarian work. Um, and it's one of the main reasons, probably the main reason, um, I really went in headstrong because I felt confident that this work that I'm doing is not just helping somebody get a third summer house. Um, this work is helping people literally halfway around the world. And I, I know I've, you've probably seen videos, um, or pictures, those of you on Facebook, on my Facebook about my trip to Nepal. Um, this year in April, end of April, beginning of May, we went for 12 days and we went with doTERRA and it was a co-impact sourcing trip. Um, and a little bit about that, we went, uh, we get wintergreen, uh, from Nepal, which is in our pain blend, the deep blue, um, cause wintergreen is really good for pain. Um, and we went literally to the middle of like nowhere into the foothills of the Himalayan mountains. It was absolutely stunning. And we went and, um, first of all, looked um, at the distillery and actually learned how it works, how the money, how the, um, how the leaves are harvested, how they're distilled, how it comes out, and we actually got to watch it. And then as we were there, um, these two women that were out harvesting since like 5 a.m. in the morning actually walked up and came with their big bushels and if you ever want to see videos or pictures of this let me know and I would be more than happy to send them to you because it's very hard for me to describe um, because I talk about this I used to talk about this I still do a lot in my classes when I taught about the humanitarian stuff that doTERRA does but to for me to actually see it with my own two eyes and I used to talk about these women all the time that they carry these 70 80 pound bushels on the back of their on their like on the, this band on their head with this big basket on the back and they would come and harvest from like five in the morning come to this distillery that was um, manned by basically somebody that's employed from doTERRA but that's from Nepal because um, they're the sourcing specialists in country um, and they would literally weigh the basket of wintergreen leaves right there on the spot there was a scale and they would write it down in their book and they would pay these women like on the spot and it, that's what they have created this in initiative called Co-Impact Sourcing where they take out the middlemen and, and they pay these farmers fairly for all the work that they do instead of paying brokers that don't do any work and a lot of times steal from the, um, the farmers and don't pay them what they're owed for all their hard work. So um, it was such a treat for us to see these workers actually come and we got to meet them and obviously we didn't speak the language but we conversated with them and they knew why we were there um, and then for four days we actually went up to this remote village where there was no wi-fi so first time ever not talking to my kids for four days in a row it was it was hard but it was actually quite refreshing because we were so present 
because we had no distractions of social media. I mean, we were taking pictures and videos, but no distractions at all. And no Instagram feeds and stories and all that kind of stuff. So we were really present and we went up there to build a water system for um, a, a village. And this water reservoir that we helped uh, lay the foundation and build the trench literally down the mountain to lay the pipe is going to service 500 families for two generations. And it's all funded by doTERRA, all of it. Um, and we obviously paid our own money to go there and do this service work and meet these villagers and actually see firsthand what it is that this company is doing. Um, and then we were lucky enough to go and actually into um, a city called Maktapur and we got to see the new hospital that they just uh, completed last year because their old hospital was completely dilapidated and it was brutal. Like the birthing center was just, it was heartbreaking to see that that's considered luxury to go into that hospital and actually give birth. Um, so I wanted to talk about that today because um, she was so surprised. She's like, I had no idea that doTERRA did that. I'm like, yeah, they're involved in Operation Underground Railroad, which she was aware about because she went and did some charity work in Nepal. Um, she didn't know that we were involved in Rafa House and Days for Girls and all these amazing um, organizations that are just there to literally lift people up and lift the world up and end poverty and and horrific things being done to children. So it um, she she was quite surprised and I realized that there's a lot of probably other people out there that didn't know about the actual humanitarian side of doTERRA. Um, so I wanted to just talk about that. Um, and I talked about Ho the Hope Roller the other day and this Rose Lotion. So these two products, 100% of the proceeds of this go to this Healing Hands Foundation. So they don't take any cut of it at all. It, so if you ever buy this like Christmas gifts, I bought these for Christmas last year. Um, and it's more obviously this year because it's a great, it's great knowing that you're not just, again, putting some money in someone's pocket. You're actually going and helping somebody literally halfway around the world, get some fresh drinking water. So if that tugs at your heartstrings, um, talk to me about it because I can share a lot more about what the stuff that doTERRA does, um, in terms of helping lift communities and, um, build people up instead of just take, take, take. It's happening a lot in this world in our retail and all that um, but yeah if um, you ever want to go into it or learn into it, just Google Healing Hands Foundation if you ever want to um, if you're looking for somewhere to um, donate I know around Christmas time it's coming up a lot of people look for do places to donate that's what I do every year I donate a lot well whatever I can manage at the time um, I'll donate um, now I donate to Healing Hands. So, because I know, I actually can say firsthand, I know where the money's going because I've actually been there and seen it and worked it and experienced it and lived it and cried it. it we were a mess because it was such an emotional experience. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So if you guys ever want to know more about the Healing Hands, it is probably the nearest and dearest thing to me um, about doTERRA and one of the reasons the main reason why I have decided to put my name behind this company and really um, pursue it as a business because I know I'm helping a lot of people not only get healthier and emotionally healthier and physically healthier, but actually helping lift the world. So that's it. All right. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow.